featured fan art. If you would like to be featured in the next video, make sure to tag me in your GFX so I can see it. Let's get right into the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a multiple GFX rig tutorial. Basically this is going to be a GFX tutorial for people who have experience in GFX and you're just going to learn how to make a GFX with two people or more just multiple rigs and I hope this tutorial is very helpful so let's get right into the video so before I start I just want to say um, if you haven't already please go watch my beginner GFX tutorial or someone else's just as long as you know how to make a GFX because this video is only for experienced GFX artists so now that I've got that over with basically you're gonna open up Roblox studio loading your character like you normally do and obviously there's gonna be two characters or more, depends on how many rigs you're gonna be doing, but this is a multiple rig GFX tutorial, so there's gonna be multiple characters. Um, I'm just gonna be using myself and Sue. So I will just go ahead and export these characters. And then now that I have them both exported, I'm gonna go ahead and go into Blender. So let's go to Blender. And then I'm just gonna open up my rig. Before I proceed, here are some of the Blender basics and some of my tips when making a GFX. So your rig should look something like this. If it has the head, go ahead and delete it. And then you can set up your first character texture. I'm just gonna use myself. So diffuse their image texture, open and open up my character. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit A on your keyboard and what this is gonna do is it's gonna select the entire rig. Then you're gonna hit Command C if you're on Mac or you're gonna hit Control Z if you're on Windows. Then you're gonna hit Command V or control v this basically is just going to copy and paste the rig to duplicate it so you're just going to paste and then you're just going to drag it over to the side you'll notice that there is loads of random junk don't worry we'll get rid of that but for right now what you're just going to do is make sure you're on the tweak tool select any part of the rig it's going to be like this then you need to go ahead and select this little ring with the triangles on every side. Then you can go ahead and move this to the other side. Now you can press W to change your tool to a select box and then click and drag to select all of this junk, then press X and delete. Now you don't have to worry about any of that junk. And yeah, so now the issue is that if you select any part to move it, it's gonna select the entire thing. So you need to go down to where it says object mode and change that to pose mode. This was an issue I had a lot earlier when I didn't know how to do this. So this is a very important step because otherwise you won't be able to pose your character. Now you can load in the other character's texture. And then you can go ahead and add the heads as you'd normally do. So I'm going to import OBJ and find my characters. All right, now that your rigs are fully set up, you can go ahead and finish up the rest of the GFX as you would normally do. I'm just gonna continue by adding in my room model, doing the poses and playing with the lighting. This will just now on be a speed GFX and the final product will be in the end.
Here's the finished result. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!